Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan. A two-piece cipher has been solved on the map Zetsubo no Shima, which relates Maxis, Richtofen, and the Blood Vials all together in this new cipher. With that being said, let's jump right into today's video. So about a day ago, there was a new cipher that was actually found by taking two pieces of paper and overlapping them, taking the prime numbers and taking the letters that correlate with those prime numbers and spelling out a phrase. The phrase says, Maxis, have you found the space-time coordinates for the other individuals I ask you for? It's imperative that we find them as well. You must trust me on this. For my plan to work, we need their blood. So what does this all mean? And I'll be talking about the Reddit uh, comments as well as my own theories. So a lot of people have been thinking that Richtofen has always been evil, and that's not the case. Even the original Richtofen was not always evil. Yes, he did work for the Nazis in Group 935 and was, you know, developing these wonder weapons and he was testing on people, but he was not always the, you know, crazy madman who wants to take over the entire world as we have seen him in Buried. The new crew does not really trust Richtofen, they know what he's capable of, and the new Richtofen, or the Origins Richtofen, I think is actually on the side of good. Now keep this in mind guys, because when Richtofen says in Zetsubo no Shima, that the blood is actually a backup plan, I think what he's doing is simply just tricking the three other characters, Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai, into kind of believing that, you know, what he's doing or what his plan is doing, if it doesn't succeed, the blood vials will like, kind of like be their backup plan and they can reset what he's done. What I'm meaning guys is that Richtofen is basically tricking his friends or his crew into thinking that the blood vials and the plan that he's got, if it doesn't go, you know, the way they want, the blood vials are just a backup. And this new cipher actually is kind of the opposite and it says that the blood vials are crucial for completing the plan that Richtofen has. So the first theory that I actually really believe in is that Richtofen is simply just tricking the other people in the crew, Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai, into following him along because they do not really trust him 100% and with good reason. You know, the first time we saw, you know, Richtofen kill himself in the Giants and, you know, everyone was kind of wondering what that was. Then we tracked down Dempsey and he actually had to kill Dempsey 1.0 without Dempsey originally knowing what the plan was until it actually came uh, full circle and the plan was almost done. So. Uh, I can see why Dempsey and Takio and Nikolai don't trust Richtofen, and that's why he's tricking them into kind of believing this backup plan. But from the cipher, we can see that the blood vials are a very crucial part of this plan. So basically guys, once the Easter egg in Zetsubo no Shima is done, each of the characters teleports and gets blood from these, you know, space-time coordinates from these characters. Now another pretty cool theory is, what if each character is actually teleporting and getting two blood vials from each different crew? So we have the Call of the Dead crew, the Mob of the Dead crew, which Richtofen already has two blood vials. We have the original 1.0 crew, which are actually being killed off, so they really don't count. We have the Shadows of Evil crew, and we have the Transit crew, or the Black Ops 2 crew. So what if, guys, we already are killing off the 1.0 original crew, Mob of the Dead crew has already been, the two blood vials have been collected from uh, them by Richtofen. What if Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai, each one of them kind of divided up that one went to the five crew, one went to the uh, Call of the Dead crew, and the other one went to the Transit crew, or the Black Ops 2 crew. Because as we see, Richtofen never carried around all four blood vials, he only carried around two of the four, or 50%. And because we actually already have you know, the blood vials from Mob the Dead, and he's been carrying those around for a pretty long time, that would kind of imply that that would make sense because he only carries around two, he never has carried around the four. And when Richtofen does teleport, he doesn't have any more blood vials on his body, he only still has the two. So what if he teleports somewhere else, maybe to the Mob of the Dead crew and see what's going on, and the other three people actually teleport and grab two blood vials from the four possible people in that crew. So like I said guys, uh, the Call of the Dead crew, the uh, Transit crew, and finally possibly the Five crew. Like Blundell said, each map is very important to the storyline, there are no one-off maps. And I think that they could be, you know, doing this as a way to tie everything back together because at the time, you know, like Five and the original characters in Noct, like the, you know, the unnamed Marines, they really had no significance to the storyline now. Possibly that's a way for Blundell and the Treyarch team to tie everything back together. And it kind of does make sense because of all the different timeline jumps and all that good stuff in the storyline. Um, the space-time, you know, coordinates basically, they could just keep hopping around and get these blood vials from these crews. So with that being said guys, they keep adding a lot of information every day to these zombie maps and I think that's actually really, really cool because it keeps the maps fresh and it keeps you exploring even after we think everything's been found. 
like Blund Blundell said, once you think everything's been found, go back over it and try again because, you know, like I said, they're always adding new things and this is one of them. So with that being said, what do you guys think of this theory? I know that in my opinion, this two-piece cipher or this two-piece code is probably one of the most important ones so far in Black Ops 3 just because it's kind of tying everything back together. It's starting to kind of wrap up the storyline and put everything back where it should be and it's tying up all those old maps that we always kind of had questions about. So with that being said, please guys in the comment section below, leave a comment with your feedback. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe if you are new to the channel. But thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.